Good morning. Sorry for the messy hair. Running around. Let's jump in the UTV so that we can get our or meet our new boat. The boat's huge. It's coming off the road. I can see why the truck driver is not so confident to bring the boat in because the road is actually very skinny. The trailer is going beyond the road so he's having a hard time navigating it. He has an assistant now walking the boat together with the truck. It's a huge boat. Even if it's a 25 foot boat, it's actually very wide. <laughs> Radio controls here. First off. I plug this because that's gonna sink our boat and just gotta double check everything, test everything, see if the battery's charged. Okay, we are adding some fuel. We figured out how to erect the tower bar along with the board racks. The battery is located here and then I'm going to open the engine compartment. I have to check the oil level just to be sure. This is a twin 1.8 jet drive motor. These are supercharged, so this should have a lot of power. So I'm guessing those are the fuses in the ECU, pumps left and right, and then air filter here, air filter there. That's the oil filter. And we're gonna check the oil level over here just to be sure we have oil before we put in the water. Super clean and fresh. This is what it's all about. We are half and we are full on the other engine. Oil check good, insulation, closing the hood. Check if the cluster powers on, kill switch over here. Ooh. I think our batteries are dead. Okay, not only we don't have uh, gas, we also have dead battery. So we're gonna charge that and basically let the boat charge first. This is a 255 XD by Yamaha and I forgot to make the intro. Just so excited. Um, it was supposed to arrive at 6 a.m. but they got caught in traffic so they arrived at like 8.30 and I've just been busy trying to figure it out, reading the manual, and now we gotta charge the battery. Um, this afternoon, Strew might come to join us and uh, jump in the boat, but for now, while we charge the battery, I'm gonna keep reading the manual and get back to you guys. We are gonna try to launch the boat. I did some of the pre-checks. I started the boat on land. We have some power in the cluster already, so we're going to try to see if we can bring it down to... We have a little jetty here, but it's not cement, so it's... It, we might sink. I read the manual, the break-in procedure is actually very light. For the first five minutes below 2000 RPM and then for the first 90 minutes below 4000 RPM. So very sane. I don't know if we're gonna be able to put that much um, minutes on the boat, but definitely we'll just cruise around and feel it out. The wind looks good, so I might go out and go kiteboarding. <laughs> While we're waiting for the pickup, I ended up setting up this area so you can actually chill here. And this is the front cabin where you can actually have one, two, and maybe three people up here. Two would be comfortable. The boat can basically seat 12 people comfortably. So we'll say two here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess stretched out. You could do maybe four in front and then about six here and then two in the back. So 12 people total. What's unique about this boat? Well, it is a jet drive and it's a, I guess a 2021. It's not a 2022 Yamaha, but it is still a fairly new boat. It's got this nice wraparound cockpit, um, captain's chair along with the passenger seat. I don't like the white though. I wish they had another option than white. The console looks really good. Now, the advantage of this boat is it has this jet drive feature which allows us to have the left and right controller as you can see here. And this is a touchscreen system along with our navigation. We have built-in speakers all around the boat. Even the top bar which I actually mounted a while ago along with the rear facing speakers. Everything sounds super good. It has a cabin over here and then a huge 
rear view mirror. This boat's meant for water sports. That's why the rear view mirror is this big. It allows you to monitor the passenger that you're towing. It also has these unique paddles, which I can't wait to feel. Now, this is the start and stop function for the boat. And it's so weird. That looks like it's a little off center. Anyway, cup holders left and right. This is our wheel so that we can touch, uh, we can control the screen and then bilge horn, blower, navigation lights, accessories. So I'm gonna figure a lot of this out, but so far I am stoked, super excited. Now the problem is at my age, you know, I wish I could still wakeboard like anything, but it's actually very hard to wakeboard and preserve our knees. So we got, just gotta make sure that we save the knees. Okay, how do you turn off the USB ports are on? So I guess just definitely when we park the boat, the battery switch has to turn off. But learning, learning again, um, we have a locker down here. We have a built-in ballast system also. It's a center ballast and left and right ballast, which we can load and unload based on the computer also. It has a built-in pump system. Pretty cool. We have a little cabin here that you can, I guess, put in some life vests and other stuff. But uh, board racks definitely for wakeboard it's gonna be super useful i love it i can't wait to get in the water i will be ordering a few things like new tenders or bumpers as they say for the side of the boat but beyond that i think this boat's complete it sucks that there's a 90 minute break in but we have to comply to it so that the engines last long now being a yamaha i have a yamaha utv already and these things are relatively bulletproof so that's why i decided to invest in this plus we live by a beautiful lake and it doesn't make sense that i'm using such a big boat my other boat is a 27 foot with a huge motor and i'm the only one using it so this makes more sense sport boat easier to park jet drive when the water is super low it's easy for us to get in and out so without yeah there's a lot of islands that pop up here when the water is low huh. what else can i say well look that sticker is sideways that badge is sideways not a good sign <laughs> anyway put the camera down first hey <laughs> this boat's so wide our road's not meant for wide wide load it's so tight. <laughs> this is our new greenhouse. <laughs> Those are our cows. Here is our little jetty, which is going to be such a tricky maneuver. <laughs> We're going to have to trim the fence and open it up just a little first. Wait, I didn't say good, huh? Wait lang, Ron, may isang tali dito sa gilid. Opo ma'am. Nakalatch. Opo ma'am. Oo, dalawa. Tanggalin ko na po. Oo, sabi mo dito lang. Up! Up! And we're finally entering the water after how many hours? Maiden voyage. First maiden voyage, it took us so long to launch the boat. But we're finally in the water and so far so good. It's a little weird on steering because it's a jet drive. You don't have that direct steer. So the play of the steering wheel is kind of weird where it's just such a quick motion. I was supposed to go kiteboarding, but it looks like the wind is done. Now it says after five minutes, I'm allowed to go up to 4,000 RPM, so.
just got off the boat. I think I lost a camera. Must have rolled off. Kiteboarding sesh. I hit a 9.7 meter jump. Super happy with that. I'll see you guys again.